Even though it's probably a cliche in O's videos, let's use the catchphrase from the show. Time to count the medals. It's Ankh, or specifically, all three versions of Ankh from Common Rider O's. From left to right, we have Lost Ankh. Ankh as he is in most of the show, and Ankh Complete, or Ankh Greed, as it is known officially on the box. So there have been three versions of Ankh released. Through most of the show, he was merely a right hand floating in the air, doing whatever he wanted to do. And, sorry, he was really cool. He's a great looking figure with wings on his right forearm that are beautifully painted and some cool rings and scary claws. This f version, well there are two versions of this actually. The first was available as a first release bonus feature with the Tato Ba SH Figure Arts, which I do not have, um, but it featured a less than screen accurate paint job. Um, and then this was released standalone as a stand set. You can even see the bottoms of his wings were painted to match the tops, going from a beautiful metallic red to a beautiful metallic green. This Ankh comes with a stand, a Tamashii Stage Act 4, I believe, stand, with two piles of metals that are removable. Stacks of cell metals to add some uniqueness to the stand. And a bunch of hands that I bumped, just like I knocked the camera over. He comes with, not my hand, but a nice grabbing hand. How can I put this so you can see it? There we go. Grabbing hand. Gesturing hand. Hand holding his popsicle things. And a fist in case you want to punch stuff. That is all. But it was also quite inexpensive since it's a stand set and not a full figure arts release. Um, this one's my favorite because it has three medals. Let's see if I can get it so you can see he's holding them as he tends to do on the show. And they are clear and translucent with just a slight dab of paint behind them to show that they are the Tato Ba combo. Focus. Focus. There we go. These look, he looks pretty great displayed with my O's combo change figures. Um, and just like all other figure arts, you just pop the hand off. It's a little hard to grab onto and he does have a lot of sharp edges on him, which makes him a little pain to grab onto. These knuckle things can hurt a little bit, plus his fingernails are quite sharp. And I just noticed that the camera's probably not picking it up, but his fingernails are painted green. Or at least the first two are. His thumb one is kind of hooked, and that's pretty consistent across all of the hands. And yes, just the first two are painted green. Interesting. If you can see that, it left dents in my fingers when I grabbed it. And the underside of his palm has also got lots of detail to it. And paint, figure arts do not skimp on paint or sculpted detail. His whole hand is uh, textured. He's got two rings on his fingers. And it's probably hard to tell, especially if I don't keep it on the camera. But there's a lot of texturing on the rings, and they are different looking, I think. So the next one to come out was Ankh Lost, who came about towards the end of the show. The rest of Ankh. It was a mystery throughout the show. Why is he just a forearm and nothing else when the rest of the Greeds are fully humanoid characters? Well, eventually Lost Ankh is introduced, and it's kind of explained. And you can see that he is incomplete. He's missing bits of him. And it's this nice purple color with 
significantly less detail sculpted onto him than the rest of the figure and kind of a creepy looking incomplete half face looks like his eyes are missing if you compare that to real Ankh or complete Ankh you can see what's kind of different also interesting which maybe I should point out when we do complete Ankh he also has wings on his left forearm why is the light not shining on it? So, this left forearm is a pretty good mirror image of this right forearm, although the shades of green are a little off from each other. This one blends to yellow sooner, but it doesn't matter. It looks really great. Ankh also comes with a stand. All of the greed figure arts come with a stand and a pile of medals. Except for lost onk, rather, except for complete onk, and this onk's pile of medals are different. They have higher stacks. These are less organized. Um, the other four greed, I'll come with these same ones. So onk is a beautiful figure. Lots of gorgeous paintwork. The silver on these rings, on the backs of his legs, sides of his legs are painted fantastically. There is no slop. There is occasionally a not quite completed circle painted. He's got peacock feathers on his thighs and on his chest there. He's got four individually slightly movable bits of feather. I don't know what you would call those. Plus a white collar and he has wings, little tiny midget wings, that are very beautifully painted. Again, they kind of match his arm. His purple face has lots of detail to it. And the left side of him has an ear, a pointy elf type ear. It's painted silver for some reason. Um, I don't know why it looks this way, but I will say that it is more than likely extraordinarily show accurate. And he has nice, scary, bird of prey looking feet with wings on his ankles. And he's very poseable. The stand means he can fly. Float. Oh, the joints on this one need to be tightened up a little bit. Um, I have moved them around because I am careless with the stand and posing. Lost Ankh has um, as many hands as the forearm Ankh. One purple, calmly relaxed hand that is very slippery because the texturing is very smooth. It's all purple except for that one little ring. Um, he has a purple fist, which you can't see because he's not in frame. And then he has two more left hands. A mirror matching this one, calm, relaxed, open, and fist. So his only unique hand is this one that is currently on his left hand to reach out and try and grab something. Which is why I had him kind of posed like that. Because it was the only different one. And now, complete onk. When the two incomplete ones were finally merged together. His stand is unique in that it shows the five primary combos from the show. Kazuri's combo is on the bottom left, or Kazuri's symbol. That would probably be Ankh's symbol. I'm guessing that's Uva's. That one should be Mezul, and is that Gamal's, I guess? I cannot tell what the heck that is supposed to be. Hmm. Uh, complete Ankh is almost identical to Lost Ankh in the sculpting. The legs are probably exactly the same. Same torsos and feathery bits. But his left forearm is different. It does not have the wings. Which took me by surprise. They, the wings are only on his left... Sorry, the wings are only on his right forearm. And I imagine that's show accurate. Same left side of the head, 
and a very different right side of the head. Instead of purple incompleteness, we have a different asymmetrical look to it, which I rather like. Need to look at my camera more rather than my figure so people stay in frame more. Instead of a black painted there, his is a nice metallic green. And also, I just realized his belt. If I move the hands down so they're not blocking the light, his belt is complete with a jewel in it. This one is missing. And other than that, it's just painted black. Let's see, can you see that? His is painted silver and gold and red. And it looks better because he's complete. Lost Onk, sorry, Complete Onk comes with the most accessories. He has his blade open left hand, which is probably the same as the one that Incomplete Lost Onk has. Ta da! Behind Onk, ta da! He has a calm left hand, which is also the same as. Lost Onk's left hand. I'm mixing up my hands over here. Let's see, what else does Complete Onk have? He has the same gesturing right hand as Forearm Only Onk. He has the same reaching out to claw you or grab something right hand as complete onk or as forearm onk fists and then he has this other more different grasping or gesturing right hand so he has the same hands as all of the of both other two onks and the accessories that I was most excited about beforehand and most disappointed with once I got them. Um, I should mention that he has little tiny wings like Lost Onk does. Ta -da. Oh no, one of the wings fell off. But Complete Onk also comes with big purple wings. And my disappointment in them is that they are just purple. I mean, there's some gray shading around the feather tips, which looks really great, but I was expecting a more rainbow coloring. Not this exact pattern, but I seem to recall in the show that these were more colorful than just straight up purple. But I don't remember Lost Onk, or Complete Onk was not in the show all that long. And the final accessory is he has a unique stand bit to help hold the wings, and I don't remember exactly what it's supposed to do. The wings do have a peg with a swivel on it, and I think it should swivel around while well, the swivel around in the hole. The little wings for Complete Onk are different from Lost Onks in that they do have the peg. Um, there's a little ball in there, but it's not going to allow a whole lot of maneuverability, but this peg is removable, and it doesn't seem to be on Lost Onk. So you can plug his big wings in here. And then the stand kind of plugs up underneath to support the wings and balance the figure. Let's see if I can get it in. I've not tried this yet. Because he can still balance without the stand or with the, the regular waist clip stand. Um, but, I don't know, the wings are a little loose in the pegs. I'm having trouble getting them to look exactly the same. But mainly my disappointment is color. I would have sworn that they were supposed to be more rainbow colored. He does look good with them, though. They are just large and a little bit heavy. Going to weigh him down a little. I'm probably not going to display him with the wings, which does kind of seem like a waste, because then he's not all that different from Lost Onk, except for the purple bits on Lost Onk's face. 
But anyway, the point is, they're all three very beautiful figures. If you're a fan of the show like I am, I, I feel that they are all three necessary figures because they are distinct characters. Um, sort of enough to me, anyway. Uh, and again, I mean, just such fantastic paint jobs with the, the way the paint blends from red to green all throughout Ankh. I mean, on his feet they do it, well, on his big boots they do it there, they fade from black to green, these wings again red to green, plus this onk comes with the, the unique metal holding and ice cream holding hands. They're really great characters, and while this one was a standard release, I believe, these two were Tamashi Web exclusives, which means they're kind of more expensive and a little harder to get. I bought both full humanoid-bodied Ankhs from Mandarake, a great place to buy previously owned figure arts, almost none of which have ever been opened before, because apparently most Japanese collectors buy them to look at the boxes and then sell them when they're done with them. But I open my toys and play with them. So I recommend these guys. I didn't pay too much for either of the exclusives because the figures are previously owned. Mandarake's prices are usually quite good until a figure is much, much older and scarcer like Amazing Mighty Kuga was. So, there we go. The Anks of Kamen Rider O's. I do have all of the Greed figures and they look fantastic displayed together. They're such interesting designs. Um, I will probably try and look at the other ones sometime in the future, although there are probably other reviews on YouTube that are more professionally done than mine. Oh, hey, look. I also have Super Tato Ba. I should see the movie that he's from one of these days. Thanks for watching.